My name is Dr. Gary Goldfadden. I'm a dermatologist, and one of the more frequent reasons that people come to see me in my office is for me to evaluate what they might be able to do for wrinkles and creases of their face. Botox, which is usually used for wrinkles of the upper third of the face, primarily the forehead, the corners of the eyes, and also the glabella area, which is the area between the eyebrows, which are the wrinkles that are caused when one tends to scour or frown. Botox has been around for quite a long time. It basically is a purified extract of a bacterium uh, that has been around and has very few side effects with it in using it. It is used by the injection of the material directly into the muscle body. It usually takes uh, just a few minutes to do a procedure and the effects are noticed within anywhere from 24 to 72 hours. The effects of Botox basically are to partially paralyze the muscles that it's injected into and therefore it's extremely important that the appropriate location and the appropriate dosage is used for each particular individual. Usually men will need more of a greater dosage than women because of the bulk and the size of the muscles. Once the Botox is done, the usual side effects that could occur, which would be rare, would be occasional bruising. The deposition of the material is important to put into the exact area so there are no areas that are weakened or paralyzed. Botox tends to last anywhere from three to six months depending on the usage and depending on the amount of muscular contraction that people make. Each additional uh, Botox injection session would last to a longer cure rate because there is some cumulative effect in the muscles themselves. Uh, possible side effects from Botox, although are quite rare, may involve a slight headache, an occasional amount of bruising, and however people that do have a fear of needles might find this very difficult procedure to have done. There are now numerous products on the market which are Botox-like stimulators or simulators which basically would not paralyze the muscle but would tend to m weaken the muscle through absorption of a material that basically would stop the neuromuscular transmission. These products usually take about one to two weeks to begin working. They usually work until you discontinue them. And many people who prefer not to spend the money do have a fear of needles or who do are afraid of uh, medications being injected inside of them may prefer to go to topical types of agents. They have been around for a while. They do work.